Alright, in this video I want to go through the multiplication of two complex numbers in their polar forms. So suppose I have an arbitrary complex number z1. So from the origin it will have a vector of the length r1 and it will have some angle of theta with respect to the real axis. So the polar form of z1 can be written as r1 cis theta and for the purposes of this video I'm going to write this out fully as r1 outside of cos theta plus i sine theta. Now here's another complex number z2 and its distance from the origin is r2 and its angle from the real axis is phi. So the polar form of z2 is equal to r2 cis phi and again this is equal to r2 outside of cosine phi plus i times sine phi. So now to find the product of z1 by z2 it is simply a matter of, of multiplying these two entities together so z1 times z2 is equal to r1 cos theta plus i sine theta by r2 cos phi plus i sine phi and now I can do the tedious step of expanding this out and simplifying alright so r1 and r2 can come out the front if I distribute this out I'll get cos theta cos phi plus i cos theta sine phi plus i sine theta cos phi and plus i squared sine theta sine phi Okay, simplifying further, I get R1, R2 outside of cos theta, cos phi. Now this I squared becomes a negative 1, so it is minus sine theta sine phi. And now for the imaginary component, I have plus I multiplied by cosine theta sine phi plus sine theta cosine phi and now this looks quite messy still but here's where the power of trig identities comes to the rescue again because this expression here can be abbreviated to cosine theta plus phi according to the sum difference formula plus i and this part can be abbreviated to sine theta plus phi and of course r1 and r2 remain out the front and finally I can say that the product of z1 by z2 is equal to r1 r2 cis theta plus phi so this is the multiplication of two complex numbers in their polar form if I was to plot this on the complex plane it would look something like this my apologies this z should have a subscript of 2 so z1 times z2 would be out here somewhere its distance from the origin is r1 times r2 and its angle is theta plus phi alright let's do an example so suppose I have a complex number z1 in polar form of 3 cis pi on 3 and another z2 is equal to 2 cis pi on 2 
then the product of Z1 and Z2 is simply the product of the two magnitudes. So in this case, 3 by 2 is equal to 6, and then cis, and then the addition of the two angles. So pi on 3 plus pi on 2. So we end up with 6 cis, and pi on 3 plus pi on 2 is equal to 5 pi on 6. Now if I want to express this product in Cartesian form, I could write then the result is 6 outside of cosine 5 pi on 6 plus i sine 5 pi on 6. If the cosine of 5 pi on 6 is equal to negative of root 3 divided by 2, the uh, sine of pi on six, uh, the sine of five pi on six is equal to a half. So I get six out of negative root three on two plus i times a half, and that's equal to minus three root three as the real component plus i times three as the imaginary component. So I hope this video has better helped you to understand how to multiply two complex numbers in their polar forms. Please give me a thumbs up if you have found this video useful. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more helpful math tutorials. In the meantime, best of luck with your math studies and thanks for watching.